to this evening's video. It's a bit noisy in here because I've got the bar going um, at the moment and then there's a pump underneath the bar to kind of like bring the water through. So that's quite noisy. So I won't talk to you too long in here. Um, after my bath, we'll have a bit of a catch up. But I just wanted to let you know that we are up to date on all of the video footage that I had recorded over the last few months. Um, obviously I had um, problems with my laptop which meant that I wasn't able to post videos for a while and um, certainly not very frequently. We are totally up to date, everything is out there and edited so that feels so good. So I just wanted to say, yay, we're up to date. Um, anyway, I'm going to have this bath and then I will meet you upstairs. I'm just going to have a chilled night in bed really. That bath absolutely made me so hot. I oh, don't mind the plant behind me, I was watering that earlier. Um, right, so today there's a bit of excitement around here. This door is the sliding door of the van and it was propped up against the side here and it started to rain and then like I was up in my office which is just up there. I heard a massive crash. I'll insert a picture here to show you what I came running down to. I was not impressed. <laughs> was not impressed at all. There was glass everywhere. And I mean everywhere. And it was like tiny little pieces. And like this van is from like 1978, I think it is. And I guess back then there was no such thing as security glass. So it did shatter, but it was very sharp, really sharp. I mean, like I had to pull a piece of glass out of my finger here, out of my foot. It was just horrendous. And it was all over this shingle. So I spent probably about three hours today pulling it all out of there. There is still some pieces. So like if you see here, can you see? I'm gonna try again tomorrow. So all the plants are over here. So that was a bit of a disaster. The good thing is, We've actually ordered a new door uh, and new glass as well. We are waiting for that to arrive um, any day soon. Um, the door is just ridiculously rusty. Um, and I think it's just far too much work for Chris to do. He's done so much welding as it is. And it's pretty technical too. Um, and it like, I think it was 200 pounds including the glass. Um, so we were just like, do you know what? Let's just buy a new door. Thank God we did, because we definitely need to be replacing the glass now. So I don't know if you can see in this camera, but like I've got like a mark here. I've also got like pigment up on the top of my forehead as well so i think this or well this always comes out every single year when it's really hot weather and i think that's because i have probably peeled at some point and it's just really bad pigment this bit here i think and also like my chin um quite a few years ago probably about five years ago actually um i had quite a bad cycling accident i was cycling down a hill and um i wanted to turn right but there was a car coming towards me so i put my brakes on but it was a, like it was it was a new bike so i didn't really know like how to control it probably it was it had like different types of brakes to my previous bike and um, I pressed the wrong bike brake and I basically went flying over the handlebars 
um, and then rushed to hospital. Like the whole of my face was just really, really, I mean, it swelled out and it was really cut up and um, yeah, it was a pretty horrific experience. Um, but I think that my skin might be damaged as a result of it and yeah, so that's why my face goes a bit funny in the summer. Partly sun damage, partly bike accident. Um, but thank God I was wearing a helmet because it would have been a lot worse. So whenever I see people not wearing helmets, it makes my anxiety get pretty bad because I know what it's like to come off of a bike with a helmet on and I wouldn't even want to imagine what it would be like to not wear a helmet um so yeah I, anyway um oh what was I gonna say I was gonna say something oh yeah so yeah Charlie's away at his dad's at the moment he's away for two weeks this is his second week so he'll be back next monday um which is a really good opportunity um as much as i'm really missing him to blitz the house um and i've managed to do all of upstairs like a proper um spring summer clean um it's amazing the amount of cobwebs that were like lurking around. Um, so I was really hoping to blitz downstairs, but with the whole uh, sliding door situation, that took up a lot of my time this evening. So I haven't been able to do that. So I'm gonna try and do that tomorrow. Um, I don't know what it is about August, but for some reason, August, I just go into this whole like, must clean, must declutter thing. I think maybe it's because the weather's really nice. It's really easy to kind of look around and see the cobwebs and things like that. So like when it gets darker, like the light changes in the winter so you don't see it as much. Um, and maybe it's me kind of nesting. I don't know if that's the right word, but like getting ready for the winter. Um, I don't know if other people feel like that. Let me know in the comments below if you do. Is is it just me or is this other people? Um, so yeah, so at the moment I'm doing this declutter challenge on Facebook. So if you're not following me on there already, uh, follow Life and Love of Katie. And every day I am posting a picture of something that I have decided to donate uh, and get out of my house because I just don't need it anymore. So yeah, follow that. Um, it's actually quite easy. So yeah, that's good. And um, yeah, also I posted a video of our engagement uh, a few days ago. Well, it went up, it went up today. Um, so have a look at that because oh, it's just the best. So happy on that day. And well, Glastonbury is obviously a very special place to both of us. So um, it couldn't have happened in a, in a nicer place. Anyway, I am going to go now because I've been waffling on and I don't want this to be a massive video for you guys. Um, but I will definitely see you in a few days. So I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.